Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the East Nashville Mira Miel. All right, well, I hope I said that right. Mira, Miro, Miel. This is a, what? It's either an O or an A, I don't know. I think it's an O though. It looks like an O to me. But anyway, this is a honey blonde ale, 5.2%. Uh, it is a, yeah, it's a blonde honey ale, an American style blonde ale brewed with real Tennessee honey. Uh, and obviously this comes from Tennessee where we were just were for our honeymoon. That's why we haven't been super active lately, guys, is because we actually got married and we went on our honeymoon. So we've been doing lots of different things and stuff. So we haven't had a lot of time to do beer reviews, but we're back in it. We're starting off with some Nashville beer, yeah. and some authentic Tennessee honey. It smells good. It does smell good. It has that graininess to it. A little bit of spiciness. Slightly the color hazy. is yeah, the color is gorgeous. It's like this really light, pale straw color. Look at that. Lace the bubbles, oh. wow. Ooh, I feel like it's gonna be good. It probably will. Well, bottoms up, let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Wow. What happened? You got some spillage? Some spillage. That's I can taste the honey right away. Ooh, hold on. Yeah. Right? That and end just, note. Just, yeah, right at the end and just let it simmer there. Well, that's interesting. I like that. That's really good. Yep. Oh, well, that's wow. impressive. How did they keep it so prominent? The st okay, so this style, blonde ales are typically a very balanced style. You're going to get, you know, malt sweetness balanced with, you know, noble hops. Um, and I can't figure out how the honey worked with the, the, the malt sweetness there. Like, how did they not yeah. make it too overbearing Wait, while still maintaining that really, it's really punchy at the end. It's really, it's like right there. And it doesn't taste like normal honey either. It does taste like natural honey. Maybe it's that real Tennessee honey. I'm t <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got just the right amount of bitterness, I feel like. That's super refreshing. Yeah. I tell you, if we cracked one of these open, uh, so when we were down there, it was like 95 degrees every day. It was hellish. Um, and we did have a couple beers there that were surprisingly refreshing, I would say. Yeah. Right? Um, at a couple different breweries. And if we had one of these one of those days, I feel like that would be just the same thing. Yeah. Like this would just hit the spot and quench your thirst. But yeah, this is really good. I really like this one. Um, Definitely surprising. I thought this was going to be kind of a, you know, one of those ones where you don't taste the honey or it's kind of subdued or just not very good. Um, but the can looked awesome at the store and uh, yeah, we went for it. Yeah. Kind of wish we would have stopped by there. We didn't even know this place existed until we found the can. <laughs> we didn't know a couple of the places existed until we looked at the beer store, though. Well, I'm giving this one my stamp of approval. What do you say? Definitely. Yeah, this is super refreshing. This is a great beer to drink in the summertime, for sure. It has this nice, delicate touch to it. Yeah, it remains subdued. Mm -hmm. Not in your face. Just really pleasant, right? Okay, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching the video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click that bell button after you subscribe. And as always, stay crafty. Cheers. This is a good beer for like people that don't like beer. That are like maybe used to like a, one of those silly spritzers or something like that. Yeah, hard seltzers. <laughs> the claw. That's the whole rage now, the claw. Should we try it? Should we review it? I don't know. I mean, it's hard water. <laughs> <laughs> we drink water every day. Yeah. We just add some rubbing alcohol in it and call it a day. Yeah, it would be the claw, like some cranberry juice.